As you can imagine, there are many different types of living things. And just to make it easier to get to know them, we organize them into big groups called kingdoms. Organisms can be unicellular if they only have one cell, or multicellular if they are formed by more than one cell. The monarch's kingdom is formed by unicellular organisms. Plant and animal kingdoms have multicellular organisms, and organisms in fungi and protist kingdoms can be both unicellular or multicellular. And now let's get to know a little bit about them. Monerans is a quite old term, and scientists now prefer to divide this group into bacteria and archaea. They are organisms with prokaryotic cells with no nucleus, and some of them make their own food, so they are autotrophic, and others need to eat, so they are heterotrophic. Bacteria are the most abundant living things in the earth. Some of them are beneficial, like the one in the yogurt, and some are harmful and cause diseases. The animal kingdom is formed by living things with a chaotic cells, that means with nucleus, and they are heterotrophic because they need to feed on their living things. There are two types of animals, vertebrates and invertebrates. Vertebrates have a spinal column or a backbone with vertebrae, and they are divided into five groups. Mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and fish. Invertebrates don't have a spinal column with vertebrae, and they are divided into six groups. Sponges, cnidarians, worms, Echinoderms, mollusks, and arthropods, including myriapods, arachnids, insects, and crustaceans. The plant kingdom is formed by organisms with eukaryotic cells, and they are autotrophic because they have to do the photosynthesis to make their own food. There are two types non-flowering plants and seed-producing plants. Non-flowering plants reproduce with spores and they grow in sunny and humid places. There are two groups, mosses and ferns. Mosses are very tiny plants with their spores in capsules at the end of a filament. Ferns are much bigger and their leaves are called fronds. Their spores are in black dots on the underside of the leaf. Seed producing plants reproduce with the seeds. There are two groups, gymnosperms and angiosperms. Gymnosperms produce seeds grouped in cones. Angiosperms have their seeds in fruits or flowers. The fungi kingdom is formed by organisms with eukaryotic cells and they are heterotrophic so they need to eat other living things. Fungus can be beneficial like the yeast we use to make bread, the penicillin, the one in some types of cheese or the mushrooms we eat. But they can also be harmful like some toxic mushrooms or the fungus appearing on our skin. The protist kingdom is formed by organisms with eukaryotic cells, and they can be autotrophic or heterotrophic. Algae are heterotrophic protists because they need to make the photosynthesis to produce their own food. Protozoa like the amoebas are heterotrophic protists, 